everyone, Meg here, and I'm back with a new tutorial for using Buffer, specifically how to buffer image and video shares from other Facebook pages. Uh, I got this question a while ago, and I haven't been able to make the video until now because Facebook keeps changing things. Actually, uh, that last statement was a lie. I did make this video last week, but then when it came time to posting it with screen caps and stuff on my blog for people who like to read along, Facebook changed everything again, so it was obsolete within 24 hours. So hopefully, I'm recording this on the 4th of July in 2016, hopefully <laughs> this video lasts a little bit longer as far as you being able to follow along and everything being exactly the same. So why do we want to buffer uh, image reshares and video reshares like this example right here? Uh, part of that is because of the algorithm change on June 29th where Facebook is giving more reach to posts that get more organic shares. And those are shares where you're not begging people to reshare your content, like, hey, please tag a friend and share this. Uh, and it's also, it's mainly content that people want to share with their friends and family. Because Facebook, whenever they make these changes that a lot of you know page owners grumble about, it's changes that make Facebook a better community because it's a social network. And if people aren't liking all of the sales pitches and stuff like that, they're not going to keep coming back to the social network because they've got plenty of competition from other networks out there. So that's why all of these algorithm changes hurt us as page owners and stuff, but it's better in the long run because it's keeping people on Facebook where we can reach them with good content. So my long spiel aside, here's how I did this share from the Love What Matters page. I've queued up both an image and a video as examples for you. So I'm going to go to the image first, and I have my buffer extension installed. And then let me drag over the buffer from my other monitor so you can see something real quick. One of the ways that we need, one of the things we need to do ahead of time is turn off link shortening. Sometimes, because Facebook makes changes, sometimes having link shortening enabled messes things up when it comes time for publishing on Facebook. So sometimes, depending on whichever profile I'm managing for a client, I'll turn this link shortening on and off. But for my own profiles, I just keep it off because Buffer is still able to uh, keep track of things for me. OK, so back to this. So since it's the 4th of July, I want to post this little, you know, let's celebrate image on my Facebook page. So I've opened it up by clicking on it. And the reason I did that is because it pulls up this permalink up here, which you can also get by clicking on the timestamp. Uh, and that's by sharing this permalink as a link post and buffer, it will come across as an image share once it's published to Facebook. If I were to hit the buffer extension right here, it would actually do it as an image share is in buffer terms instead of an actual link share where it's resharing from another page. And I'll show you what I mean by clicking on this button here in my browser. So I'm, I hit that button and I'm going to select my Facebook page. And sometimes there's a little bit of a lag. I'm going to do it again. Okay, so now it's popping up this where it's actually showing the caption from her image. And that's what we want to see. Sometimes uh, it'll show a preview for the Facebook page, which is just fine also. Uh, it will push out as long as uh, the post is enabled for everyone to view it. So I'm going to type a little caption. I'm going to hit share now so you can go ahead and see how this published over onto my Facebook page. Now things are a little bit different when it comes to videos and part of the reason is it's it's different on Facebook then because it's not the same kind of share. Uh, what you have to do is click on the timestamp. Oh, let me pause this. This is an amazing video by the way. 
and you want to make sure up here in the browser that it's the permalink. The structure is a little bit different for videos versus images, as you can see. Uh, but sometimes clicking on the video instead of the timestamp will pull up just Facebook.com. It won't have the full uh, permalink URL because it's a light box. So you want to make sure it's got that permalink. And then it's the same thing. You hit up here and select whichever page you want it to go on. Whoops. Sorry, I'm using a new keyboard for the first time. Probably not the best thing to do when recording a video. Okay, and I'm going to hit Add to Queue. Now, the other way you can do it for videos is you can hit the buffer button right there, which that only shows if you have the browser extension installed. And most of the time, it will pull up the right URL and stuff. So you can share that way, but I like to be safe and go ahead and hit on the permalink and make sure that that's what's going through. So let me go ahead and refresh my Facebook page so you can see that that 4th of July image came through just fine. So remember, first, turn off link shortening in buffer under settings for that particular profile. Then you open up the image or video and make sure that the permalink is, or the perma URL is right there in your browser. And then you hit the buffer button in your browser, not the buffer button at the bottom of the post. And then you make sure that it pops up a, somewhat of a preview of the image or video or Facebook page that you're resharing from. And then you just hit add to queue or publish now, whatever you want to do. Now a few more tips. Sometimes it won't go through if this globe isn't showing. And that globe is a symbol for the fact that the post is public. Sometimes pages will post something and they'll exclude a certain group of people. And that's not because of, you know, any ill intentions or anything like that. It could just be they want to make sure that that particular post is going to the audience they want. So if it's something about birth, they probably don't want it to go out to guys because it won't get as good engagement as sharing to women. So that's just one example. And when a post has special settings like that, it will be a gear wheel. So sometimes those posts don't reshare how we would want them to, but most of the time they do. Now the time I found that posts most definitely do not share how I want them to using this method is when I'm resharing from a person's profile. So not a Facebook page, but an actual person's profile. Even though it's showing the globe and it's a public post for whatever reason, things posted to a personal Facebook page reshare differently using Buffer or any third-party scheduling tool. It's just there's some kind of disconnect with the way Facebook handles it and it'll go through as a thumbnail link share instead of an actual image reshare. I know I'm sent those words, it's just kind of hard to wrap your head around, but basically it'll come across as a link like this to that person's original post on their profile. It will not come across as an image share like this. So that's pretty much it. You can use this method uh, as much as you want. You know, fill up your queue for whatever, how many slots you have available in your account and have fun with it. And remember, if you're in a blogging tribe, this will really come in handy to reshare content from those in your tribe and not have to worry about getting on the computer every day and manually sharing these posts. Because this share button doesn't let you schedule things. That's one feature that I really hope Facebook comes up with soon. But until then, we're limited to copying the URLs and scheduling them manually up here or buffering them, which is my preferred method because you all know I absolutely love buffer. So let me know if you have any questions um, in the comments and let me know also if you have any more videos that you'd like me to make. And make sure you subscribe to my newsletter because I'm going to have some free webinars uh, coming up in this month and in August covering things like how to use Buffer, just the basics, how to set up uh, your profiles and stuff like that, things that 
are really good to cover over summer before life gets crazy again in the fall. So I'll talk to you later. Have a great 4th of July.